your audio is coming. I can see it. Okay, there you go. Hello, Ricardo. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great. What about you? They say you, you drink a juice. Ah, drinking water. <laughs> ah, water. It's uh, healthy. <laughs> it's healthier. Yeah, it is healthier. Yeah. Healthier. Make sure to drink water very often. Very often. Um, Make sure. <laughs> don't yeah, forget. Can... No, remember not to forget. <laughs> remember <laughs> not to forget to drink water every day. Eight glasses recommend the doctor. Yes, eight glasses of water. Two liters. Two liters. Yeah. Two water liters is what the doctor okay. recommends. Okay, guys. Okay. Today, we're going to go through section three really fast. Hmm. Okay, I'm looking for your team, sorry. Intermediate, intermediate, I got you, okay, here. Let's go. So today we're going to talk about vocabulary um, related to times, holidays, <gasps> holidays. Okay. It's going to be a very entertaining class today. So let's learn a lot of vocabulary and we're going to finish uh, section three tonight. Okay. Okay. So here we have the first video talks about vocabulary. Let's play it and just start the class because we have a lot to cover, guys. Okay. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary, cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, presents, roast turkey, wedding. Very good. Remember you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Okay. So again, we have anniversary, anniversary, cake, cake, cards, cards. Now on the next word, I disagree. The right pronunciation of dancing is den, den, isn't dancing, dancing, okay? dancing fireworks 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 flowers flowers fruit punch fruit punch parade 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 party party presents Presents. Roast turkey. Roast turkey. Roast turkey. Cuidado, no digan turkey, porque turkey es el país. Turkey es la ave. Okay. Wedding. Be careful with this one. Don't say wedding. It's wedding. Wedding. Okay. And that was pronunciation. <laughs> as simple as that. Did you get it? Yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I got it. And you can you can watch the video uh, as many times as you need later. This video from the class or the video on the platform. I'll send you the little vocabulary thing. Tengo una pregunta super rápida. Ayúdenme a investigar. Ayúdenme a investigar en mi investigación de campo. ¿Creen que si tuvieran alguien todo el día repitiéndoles palabras, frases, 
gramaticales, lo que sea, en cámara lenta y luego hablando rápido, en un tono normal, ¿serviría de algo? En su casa, o sea, ustedes llegan, le dan play en el volado y ahí están repitiendo, viéndole la, viendo solo una boca en su, en su, en su pantalla. ¿eh? Bien clarito, bien articulado, ¿servirá? Pues ¿Qué dicen, dicen, que la, dicho, dicen que la repetición hace el, la buena, buena educación, pero no repetir grado, no, en este caso. ¿verdad? En este Juan. caso... La, Juan, you're flipped out. You're flipped out. Yes, Ricardo. Keep going, I'm sorry. <laughs> to interrupt you, Ricardo. En este caso, ajá. No, te estaba escuchando. En este caso, en este caso bueno, como, como decía, la repetición te ayuda mucho a, a, a la fonética. Atado a una cosa más. Y ahí es donde alcanzas la autocorrección. Aprender a escucharte. En esas dos cosas me basé. Termin ya estoy terminando la, la plataforma. Y pues a la OIT le encantó. Así de que... Ay, a ver en qué termina todo eso. Está cansadísimo, pero va a funcionar. Yo sé que va a funcionar. So, wish me luck. Okay. ¿Mm? It's great. Yeah, it's a great. You're going to see it. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's continue. Now, on the next topic on your platform, that was just pronunciation, right? So on the next topic on the platform, we have relative clauses of time. Let's see. Pay attention. Hello. Before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is. So pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. So pay attention. A relative clause is used to... ...define or identify... A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. What a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. Okay, can somebody paraphrase what she just said? What Jessica just said? A relative clause. What? Listen to me. Define or identify the noun that precedes them. It's used to identify. I didn't get this. Identify the noun that precedes. To identify the noun that precedes them. So what yes. comes after the relative clause? Okay, and that, that's the use of the relative clause, again. To define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when. Okay, mm, we better look at some examples, right? Hmm. Did I jump anything? No. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hi. Listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. 
It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Oh my God, I want to get married in Japan. <laughs> uh, okay, but, I, but I'm married. Okay. So, okay. Listen, did you understand about the weddings in Japan? Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. Can you repeat that? Not, not <laughs> yes. sure. Not yes. sure. Let's do it. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Amiko. That's the name of the girl. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. Now, that's a Japanese term, I guess. Can you Google it? Shrine. Let me write it here because the, I know this picture, even if I send it to you, you won't be able to read it, I'm sure. Look at that. Shrine. 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 Okay. When people, Shrine. listen, this is the relative clause. When people get married in Japan, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine, at a shrine, at a, at a, at a shrine. That's interesting. Where, were there a lot of people there? Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, afterward, I got lost. We... <laughs> Hold on. And afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. We had a reception with family and friends. So what are receptions like in Japan? What are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner and after the food is served, the guests give speeches. You understand speeches? Yes? yes. Okay. Yes, yes. And sing songs and they sing karaoke, they sing songs. Okay. Okay, it sounds like fun. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and the groom give them presents. Do you understand bride and groom? Bride and groom. Yeah, okay, good. So they give presents to the guests. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Okay. What is a shrine? Sanctuary. A sanctuary? Ah, perfect. Sanctuary. Wow. So that, that's like a religious marriage. Yeah. Oh my God. Something like that. Something like that. It, it's worse than a religious marriage, I will say, because here in Japan, if you fail your wife, you dishonor your family and you have to do the harakiri, you know. The harakiri. That's right. I did the harakiri today with a group of students. Because instead of instead of 100, they were saying they kept saying they kept saying a hundred instead of a thousand, you know. I was teaching, I was teaching um, accounting this afternoon. I was teaching accounting, and they kept saying a thousand instead of a hundred. So I went on my knees and I went like, you know, grab a a pen and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "You dishonor me." <laughs> okay, do you understand? Let's. Find the grammar. I, I, I'm 
I'm sure the grammar about this topic, the relative clauses is here. Then we have pronunciation and stress, adverbial clause of time. So where is it? When? So where is the relative clause in this um, conversation, guys? She, they, she said when people get married, right? Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay. Go straight to the conversation again. So is that the only one? When people get married? I'm going to write it here. There you go. Can somebody make another example? It's, it's not clear, the conversation. Yeah, I know. It's very it's, blurry. The text is not clear. Yeah, it's very blurry. Por eso no se los envié, Ricardo, porque si, aunque se los envíe, mm -hmm. creo que no se va a ver bien. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, this is basically what we need to do. When people get married, okay, can you give me another example? We need to use, we need to use when. Something that I like and I know you like it too. Okay, go. Pero cuando te veo, siento que lo olvido todo. Quisiera poder robarte. Did, did you hear that song from uh, Red? Oh, Freeway. Yes. Freeway. I love that song. It's really good. I grew up with these guys, you know, the guys from uh, Freeway. They're from Santa Ana. And I grew up with them. It's amazing times. Okay. Aha. Cuando los días pasan rápido. Richard. I don't know. Cuando <laughs> day. <laughs> When the days are of Okay, uh-huh. I won't let you down. I won't. This is mm, when key. may I go to visit? Wait, wait, wait. Cuando los días se pasan rápido. Come on, guys. Anybody? Oh, Marlon, okay. Rebecca, Giovanni. Yeah. Was spent. Hmm. Se pasan. ¿Qué tiempo es este? Cuando los días se pasan rápido. Las. Ver, when the last. Hmm. Um, okay. When days. Go by. Go by. Go fast. Yeah, let's see. When days go by fast. Faster. When days go by, fast. go by fast. When days go by fast. When days go by fast. Cuando los días pasan rápido. Se pasan rápido. When they go by. Mm -hmm. When days go by fast. Okay. No. Next example. When no te veo, me pongo triste. Mm, I not see you. Juan, Juan. 
When, yeah. when I don't. When, Excellent. When I don't see you. you? Mm -hmm. Me pongo sad. triste. I feel sad. Ahí no dice me siento triste, ahí dice me pongo triste. Feel sad? It's not. Me, a ver, ¿quién no se la sabe? ¿Cuál verbo ocupas I para, put... tran, para transicionar de un estado a otro? Yeah. Sí. Mm. Eso es lo que estás haciendo ahí, ponerte triste, um, ponerse feliz. I get sad. No. Ponerse oscuro. Ajá, correcto, Marlon. Very good. Get When I don't sad. see you, I... Okay, hold on. I'm a coma there. When I don't see you, I get sad. Este tipo que ven acá se ocupa para transicionar. Okay. ¿Cómo dirías, me estoy volviendo viejo? I'm, I'm getting old. I'm getting older. I'm getting older. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Me estoy volviendo más viejo. I'm getting older. Me estoy volviendo viejo. I'm getting old. I'm getting. Getting. Okay. Transicionar, eh. Un adjetivo. I get sad. Pero es una diferencia, Ricardo. I'm getting old. Me estoy. Okay. Estoy envejeciendo. Está diciendo. I'm okay. getting happy. I'm getting happy. Me estoy. Alegrando. I'm getting sick. I'm getting sick. Estoy enfermando. Okay. I get sad. Me pongo triste. Okay. That's another topic. That's another topic. Okay. Cuando te veo, siento que lo olvido todo. When I see you, I all forget. When I see you, Frank, I all forget. I all forget. When I see I you, feel. I feel. Uh huh. Now, see. let me give you a clue. This is optional, it's optional to translate it. That. <laughs> And then I see you forgetting everything. Excellent. Okay. I feel I forget everything. So this topic is to use when. And then you have the noun, the object, the subject that follows. When I don't. Okay. When days. ¿Por qué quité el artículo aquí? Alguien que me lo diga. Because you are using the noun. Yes. No. no, pero aquí igual con el artículo sería un noun. Les dije antes y lo digo en español súper rápido. The se ocupa cuando quiere ser muy específico. Okay. <coughs> When the days in September go by fast. Cuando los días, los días de septiembre se pasan rápido. Tienes que ser muy específico al usar el artículo, ¿ok? Cuando generalizas, no usas artículos. Memorízate eso. Cuando generalizas, no utilizas artículos, ¿ok? Bien. ¿Cómo traducirías la gente está loca? People is crazy. There you go. No decís, the people is crazy. You say, people is crazy. People is crazy. Very good. Excellent questions. Did you understand everything? I, I lost in this topic. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We use getting, we use getting the. Oh, getting, okay. no, 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 but that's not the topic. That's not the topic, Ricardo. The topic is to use when and then a noun. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ricardo, cuando la lluvia cae. When the rain falls. You got it. When rain falls. <laughs> When rain falls. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 
specific the rain. The the rain of September, the rain of November falls. When the rain mm. of November falls. Okay. Okay. Now, the example on the uh, lecturing was when people get married, okay? When a Japanese, okay? When a Japanese gets upset, you better run. When a Japanese gets upset, you better run. And it is true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Let's move on. Now we have another pronun pronunciation uh, example. We have stress, <clears throat> stress and rhythm. Stress and rhythm. 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 <clears throat> it's the rhythm of the night. Oh, night. Oh, yeah. Pronunciation. Yeah, it says rhythm. It doesn't say rework. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, okay. some rebox on night. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's see. Pronunciation, stress, and rhythm. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Hello, everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then, play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then, practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay, so basically here, you need to adopt, adopt the pronunciation on the audio. De nuevo, aquí tenés que adoptar la pronunciación en el audio, okay? So listen, after the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends before the guests leave. The bride and groom give them presents. Again, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. One more time. Let's see if I did it right. Before the guests leave, oh. practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay, can could, could somebody um, repeat with the same intonation and rhythm? Or you don't see the, um, you're not able to see the, the reading, right? The letters? No, teacher. Okay, good. May I try, teacher? Please go. <laughs> After the ceremony, there is a reception with family and friends. Good. That was good. Frank, try. After the ceremony, uh... Mm -hmm. There are reception with family and friends. Okay, good. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Good. That's number one. The second one says, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. You know, I thought 
groom was a scuba. Hmm. Like Harry Potter's groom? Oh, that's broom. <laughs> With B as in boy, it's same sound. Groom, broom. Okay. So how do you say scuba in English? Broom. Okay. There you go. Okay. Next. Juan, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them. Did I repeat before that? The... Yeah. Before the guests leave, the bride and girl give them present. Repeat, groom. Groom. Mm -hmm. Give them present. Give them presents. Okay, presents. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Again. Yep. Okay. Let me send you this already. Made a little mistake there. I deleted it, so I'm going to have to write it again. OK, so follow these examples. I will send them to you again to the WhatsApp group. Or do me a f no, I'm going to write it. OK, I'll write them down again and send them to your group. We need to practice that rhythm, okay? Get the rhythm, get the pronunciation of these words. It's gonna help you a lot. And this stuck, sorry. Okay, let me send you the, um, the words so you can practice really quick and get the pronunciation and rhythm in these examples, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Hey, teacher. Okay. Come on, guys. Okay, let's go. I think you, you will be able to see them. Yeah, if you make the thing bigger. After the ceremony, there is a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually the guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay, let's practice really quick, no more than ten minutes, and we will be back here. Okay. Okay. Good? Teacher. okay teacher. Ok, bueno, vamos a practicar las oraciones que nos dejaron. ¿Qué les parece si cada uno dice las, las oraciones? Y ahí va el siguiente. Veamos. Eso yo, si quieren. Ahí están las oraciones justamente en pantalla. Eh, la, primera, la primera voy yo. After the ceremony, there is a reception with family and friends, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay. Okay, my friend. After the ceremony, ceremony there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, uh, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests <laughs> Money to the bride and groom. Okay, Carlos. Okay. Yeah. After the ceremony, 
aquí casi no logra ver, no sé si yo, mi problema es el teléfono porque veo borroso. Ser money. Ceremony there's a reception with family and friends. Before they went to West Live, the Brady and Groom give the present. The ghost usually give money to the Brady and Groom. Money. Repeat. Money, money. Give me money, money. 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 Así como se ve, money, money. Money. Um, Give money to the bride and bride. groom. To the bride and groom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos de nuevo entonces, si les parece. Um, Voy yo de nuevo entonces, si les parece. Sí, sí, sí. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Tengo dudas con usually. U usually o usually. You, usually. 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 Okay, Michael. After the Excellent. ceremony. Keep going, keep going. With family and friends. Before they get. Usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay. Este, ahorita ya tengo el teléfono acá en la mano y veo que envió dos. Dos capturas de pantalla al teacher. <coughs> Una es con palabras de anniversary, cake, cars, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit sponge. Uh, Yo entendí que solo esto, pero no sé. Uh, si yo gusta comparto no... la otra. Déjame ver si puedo. Yeah, those are just three, so we could practice it. The first one says after the ceremony, there's a reception uh -huh. with family and friends. No entiendo, teacher. It's just the pronunciation. Solo es la pronunciación lo que vas a practicar. Listen, uh -huh. uh, after the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Uh, can, you, can you send again, please? The picture, the image? Yes, please. Okay, give me one second. Let me do something better. Okay. There you have the first one. There you go. So after the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Oh, you're welcome. Bueno, le toca. 
Uh -huh, give them presents. The guest usually give morning to the bride and groom. This is, this is the como recompensa. De, los invitados eh, les dan regalo, pero los invitados también tienen que corresponder ahí eh, dando like, dinero. Like a reward. It's a specific, <laughs> a specific money. Okay, now like, we're practicing pronunciation, intonation. <laughs> For, forget about the meaning of, of the words right now. It's just pronunciation. Listen, after okay. the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay. It is guests. How, guests. how it's pronounced? Guests. 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 You got it. Sorry, what is, sorry, sorry. Guests. What is the meaning? Guest. Guests. Guests. Invitados. No, that's guest. Hey, I'm sorry. G U E S S. Guest. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do Thank double you. S. Okay. Guess. I'm going to try it again. Okay. And Go okay. ahead, man. After the ceremony, uh -huh. there's a reception with family and friends. Yes, for guests. reception, I think. No. Re reception. reception. Okay, again. After the ceremony, there's uh -huh. a reception. There's a reception. That's a good. Sounds good or, or yes. poorly? Reception. Good oh, one <laughs> after the ceremony. <laughs> Does it sound good or poorly? Hey, I, I like that. Good job. <laughs> there is a reflection with family and and or oh, end. End. And end. End. And French. Ah, okay. I confusing the and end for final e before the girls leave. The right and group give them person. The guests usually give money to the brain and groom. Okay. <sighs> now it's my turn. Difficult. Difficult. Now, Come on, Juan. You just did it good. Don't worry. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Now, Ricardo. My Ricardo, turn. yeah, your turn, go ahead. Okay, after the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave. Guests. Guests leave. Uh, okay, guests. 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 Very good. Guests. That's where it's a little difficult to pronounce. <laughs> Brian Groom, give, Nothing. The, give Nothing. them person. Nothing's difficult. Oh, yeah. Everything is easy. Don't worry. Okay, guys, we the have to go. Good morning to the prayer. Morning. Guests. Money. Okay, Money. we have to, we have to go, so we can understand what we're doing here. Let's go. Hey teacher, nos sacó del grupo y ya estamos entonados ahí con 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 mi compañera. Está repitiendo. <laughs> Mr. John Hernandez. Hello, Kike. How are you? Uh, great. I'm great. <laughs> Vacation. Relax. Relax. Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. 
and as burial cloths of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. Stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. Ok, ¿alguien podría parafrasearme, por favor, de qué estamos hablando? Cerca de adverbios de tiempo, para indicarnos cuándo algo sucede. Klaus, ok. Mm -hmm. Cláusulas de, de adverbiales de, de tiempo. Cláusulas adverbiales de tiempo. Uy, esto está bien heavy. Ay, por eso es que no me gusta la gramática tradicional, porque... What? Te quedas como, what? Eh, y si especialmente se te lo explica muy rápido, eh, no sé, en un inglés muy rápido y tú no estás ahí todavía. So, es muy importante ¿no? que, que lo entendamos. Cláusulas abreviables de tiempo. Tan fácil como iniciar una oración con el cuando, después, antes, desde, desde. hasta. Ajá. Tan pronto como. No, mientras, while, ajá, uh -huh, while, mientras, y whenever, cuando sea. Ok, let's continue. I invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. Ok, darles un listado de, um, a ver, por conjunctions, conjunciones, podrían entender ustedes también conectores. Mm -hmm. Tal cual, ¿no? Conjunctions, connectors, it's the same term. Connectors, conjunctions. Ok, now, en este caso estamos hablando de subordinating. ¿Qué idea te da eso? Que dependan de... El siguiente. Go. Subordinada, ¿verdad? Dependen de, en este caso va a depender de otra oración. Es decir, una no puede existir sin la otra. Ahorita lo va a explicar Jessica, ponemos atención. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She is the subject. Comes, the verb. Now, when she comes home, all together is a subordinating or dependent clause. Mean okay. Again, can somebody explain me, please? Alguien que me explique. ¿Por qué when she comes home es una cláusula dependiente o subordinada? Because it depends of another part of the sentence. Because that, if we just say when she comes home, there we don't have a complete sentence, right? We are not saying nothing. Just we're when she comes home. Excellent. Repeat, we're saying nothing. We're saying nothing, sorry. Excellent, very good. No, don't say sorry. Yeah, when we are saying nothing, good. When she comes home, it's like, I'm talking to Marlon, right? And I go like, when she comes to the class. What? What, what are you going to do when she comes to the class? Oh, she will read. She will read when she comes to the class. You see? 
Ok. Estamos entendiendo todos el problema acá. ¿No? No. Ok. No puedo solo decirte, estoy hablando contigo, Kiki, de repente te salgo con que, ah, cuando, cuando la Claudia venga. ¿Y qué? No estábamos hablando de nada de Claudia. Yo solo te salgo con eso cuando la Claudia venga. ¿Qué, qué va a pasar, verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, entonces eso es la cláusula subordinada. Yo no puedo decir solo esa cláusula, solo esa oración. When she comes home, when Claudia comes home. Tengo que continuar y decir qué va a pasar con ella o qué acción va a ocurrir a raíz de esa primera oración. That's it. Cuando Claudia venga, voy a hablar con ella. Ok. A la segunda parte como que la, le da significado a la primera. Exacto. No puede existir la primera sin la segunda. Tan fácil como eso. Ok. Es como que te diga, no sé, te vas a comer y no termino. Te estás comiendo y te digo, te vas a comer. Y ya no termina, ¿no? ¿Qué cosa? ¿Ok? ¿Hoy sí? Ok. Sí, más o menos vamos agarrando el hilo. So, the, the whole sentence is, when she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Simple as that. Ok, let's see. It is not complete. Bedtime story. I'll give you a couple of examples. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. Before she went to school, coma, she finished all her homework. Se puede ocupar el pasado también. Antes, ajá. Uh -huh. Antes de irse a la escuela, terminó toda su tarea. No podría decir solamente antes de irse a la escuela. ¿Qué pasó? Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Una cosa más, también puedo, um, por lógica, ¿no? Podría jugar con estas dos oraciones uh, intercambiándolas, ¿no? Poniendo, she finished all her homework before she went to school. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ahí estaría poniendo la independiente, que sí puedo decir, ella terminó toda su, su tarea. Ella terminó toda su tarea, tiene sentido, ¿no? Pero solo decir antes de irse a la escuela no tiene sentido. Ok. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. I think you got it. Subordinating conjunction or adverb. She, the sub. So just breaking it down. We have subordinating conjunctions or adverbs. And I just send you this. Can you see my screen? Yes. Uh, Can you see no. the image? You don't see the image? No. Okay. Good. So I just sent you a picture to the WhatsApp group with this. These are subordinating conjunctions. Uh, yes. Okay. And their functions. Functions, uh, time. So if you want to talk about time, okay, just you use these ones. After, while, when, before, since until and as soon as so after going to the party okay let's play something finish my se finish my sentences anybody just finish my sentences after going to the party when i finish my hunger mm -mm, you're not getting it i'm still seeing the chicos So I was saying. Mm -hmm. This is the subordinating clause. After going to the party. I somebody... need to com I need to complete the platform. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, while we talk, 
Ese es un challenge, ese es un reto para todos. While we talk. Mientras hablamos. We lost the bus. Mm, ahí te fuiste al pasado. Así que, while we talk, we lost the bus. Mientras hablamos, perdimos el bus. Mm -hmm. Perdimos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why we talk? Uh... Sure, but it isn't wrong, or yeah? It's wrong. Well, we talk, the next said, well, while we were talking, we uh, lost the bus. Okay. Yeah. But right now, right now, what's going on? You, are, you and me, we are talking. Okay. While we talk, uh, let's smoke a cigarette. Ahorita estoy hablando como, while we talk, while we I talk. I smoke a cigar. I smoke. While we talk. I... Uh -huh. while, I, while we talk, I smoke a cigar. I smoke a cigarette. Okay, while we talk, I... I drink I water. Drink water. I drink something. I drink whatever. You got it? Got si it. La intención, ahí te estoy diciendo que voy, a hacer, que, ajá, que voy a hacer algo mientras hablamos. Well, we talk, porque me invitaste a hablar allá afuera. Okay, well, we talk, I'll, I'll drink something. I'll have a smoke. Ah, por cierto, no se dice... I'll smoke a cigarette. Se puede decir. I'll have a smoke. Mm -hmm. Oui, I'll have. Look at this señor, este maestro. Smoke. Okay. I'll have. Oh, oh, oh. También. Why we talk? Uh, we can eat something. We can eat something. Yes. Ahí estás invitando a algo. También para invitar a algo podría ser. Let's, while we talk, mm -hmm. let's play basketball. Y de nuevo, puedo girar las oraciones. Let's play basketball while we talk. Mm -hmm. Okay? Pero no podría solo decirle a alguien, while we talk. <laughs> Mientras hablamos. Mm -hmm. Sí. Okay. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. 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 When... When I train, oh, hold on, mm, yeah. God, my dyslexia. Yeah, well, I train. When I train, I burn calories. When I train, I burn calories. Perfect. Okay, one more. Since. Since I don't have you. And I don't have four desires. Uh huh. I don't have happy hours. <laughs> Stop me, stop me. I, I, I don't have anything. Uh -huh. Since, come on. I, don't, I can sleep. I, I don't have anything. I got it. Since I don't have you, I can sleep. <laughs> Very good. Good. Continue with the other two. You have until and as soon as, because we're talking about time. Cause and effect. Cause and effect is similar, okay? Because you didn't come to the party. Because you didn't come to the party. We didn't save any cake for you. Because you didn't come to the party. We didn't save any cake for you. Okay? And so on. But right now, let's work with time um, clauses. Practice that for tomorrow so we can move on. Okay? Okay. Good. Uh, mañana voy a estar una hora antes, por lo menos uh, desde las 7, para poderles ayudar en todo lo que necesiten de la plataforma y poder avanzar, ¿eh? porque hay que estar al día con eso y ya prácticamente nos toca hacer el midterm. Ok. okay. Good. Good night. 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 Good night.